NVIDIA has a new threat that's about to blast onto the graphics card scene, and it's not AMD. No, it's not Intel either. It's NVIDIA. You heard me right. NVIDIA themselves are their own worst enemy. Hey there, I'm Danny. Welcome to the channel. Yes, you heard me right. NVIDIA is their own competition. As you might know already, RTX 40 series cards are planned for release later on this year, and there's been some interesting developments happening that I thought you might want to know about. Twitter leaker Copite7Kimi, who is well known for his NVIDIA leaks, posted this earlier in the week. What this means is the upcoming RTX 4090 achieves greater than 19,000 points on the TimeSpy Extreme Benchmark. To put this in comparison, the RTX 3090 achieved 10,440 points and the RTX 3090 Ti got 11,400. If this is true, the RTX 4090 would be 66% faster than the 3090 Ti and 82% faster than the current 3090. Also, somehow another leaker, Xpia GPU, was able to get a hold of some gaming results of the full 8102 die, which will most likely be the 4090 Ti or maybe the next Titan card. Whatever they name it, expect this to be the top of the line from Nvidia. Xpia GPU states that in control at 4K resolution with DLSS and ray tracing enabled, they saw greater than 160 FPS, but they don't know what CPU, RAM, or clock speeds were used. For comparison, the RTX 3090 sees 72 FPS with the same settings applied. Now expect this GPU with the full unlocked 8102 die to use extreme power. I'm talking about upwards of 800 watts, so a 1000 watt power supply would be required. No idea how true these rumors are, so take all of this information with a huge grain of salt. What this does tell you though, is that Nvidia is putting a lot of research and effort into their next generation of GPUs. But the problem is, what that does is it turns them into their own competition. One thing we can determine from these leaks, even though it's just the 4090 being leaked, you can expect the lower tier cards to get a performance bump as well. Nvidia usually scales their cards the same if you look back at the history of each generation. If Nvidia releases their 40 series cards this year and the performance is as good as these leaks suggest, gamers might just buy the new cards and pass on the last generation of 30 series entirely, which Nvidia still has huge stock of. There have been lots of rumors and talks that Nvidia is planning to delay their 40 series launch. I mean, the RTX 4090 was supposed to launch in August next month, but there's no way that's happening now. Graymon55, another well-known leaker, stated last week that most likely only the 4090 will be launched this year because there's too much stock. Basically, he's talking about too much stock of the 30 series cards. And he says the 4090 Ti will depend entirely on what AMD does. This overstock is caused by Nvidia having too many brand new cards in warehouses, and there is entirely too many used cards on the market that are flooding from GPU miners selling off all their inventory. If you didn't already know about the crypto mining crash and all these cheap GPUs being sold in the used market, it's probably because you're not subscribed and didn't catch my last couple videos. So why don't you do that down below for me? Now used mining cards might not be your thing. I've actually noticed it's not a lot of people's things, but that doesn't matter because if the used cards drop in price, the new cards have to drop in price because there is people out there that will buy the used cards from miners. And Nvidia and AMD both know this, and that's causing them to lower their prices. Either way, things are finally starting to look up for us, the consumer, the gamer, after two years of GPU despair. So what do I suggest you do? I'd say hold off. I know, I know, more waiting. But honestly, if you've waited this long, what's another few months? I think GPU prices are still going to decline further, the flood of used cards hitting the market will really disrupt new card sales, and companies like Nvidia and AMD have been pumping out GPUs at a ridiculous rate. They'll have no choice but to continue to drop prices. New GPU prices have more than halved since just a few short months ago. Now, if you need a GPU right now, like you have your build, you have all the other parts, and you're just about to buy your GPU, I recommend that you go with AMD. They've got the best price to performance right now. There's plenty of reviews out there by big YouTube reviewers saying, go with the budget stuff. Don't buy high end right now. This is the worst time to buy high end. But like I said, it's best just to wait some more if you can and see what happens in the next few months. 
But whatever you do, make sure you keep coming back for this ever-changing news in this PC building space. And as I always say, I'm Danny with Danny's Tech Channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Tell me.